Hey there, Homestead Eck. Today's science lesson is all about insulation and heat transfer. Today we're going to learn how insulation helps keep our homes warm in the winter and cool in the summer and why it matters. Let's get started. So what is heat transfer? Heat is always on the move. It naturally flows from hot to cold, just like how a warm cookie cools down on a plate. But how does the heat move? Let's talk about the word conduction. Heat moves through direct contact. For example, if you take a metal spoon and put it in a hot cup of soup, that spoon gets really hot really fast. That's conduction. In homes, walls and windows can let heat enter or escape if they're not insulated. The next word is convection. Convection is when heat moves through liquids and gases. For example, warm air rises and cool air sinks. This is why attics and basements can feel so different in temperatures. Let's chat about the word radiation. That means that heat moves in waves, like the sun warming your skin. For example, if you stand near a campfire, you feel the warmth, even though you're not touching it. In homes, radiant barriers help block heat from the sun in the summer. So how does insulation work? You can think of insulation like a warm coat for your house. It traps air inside tiny pockets, slowing down the heat transfer. In the winter, insulation keeps the warm air inside so your home can stay cozy. In the summer, it blocks hot air from coming in, keeping your home cool. Here's an example. Remember that cup of soup we used with a metal spoon? If you were to also put a wooden spoon in that same cup of soup, that metal spoon will burn your hand, but the wooden spoon feels fine. That's because wood is a natural insulator while metal is a conductor. Homes use insulation in walls, attics, and floors to keep temperatures comfortable. Even your windows and your doors help. Thicker windows and weather stripping reduce heat loss. Ever feel a draft near a window? That's the heat escaping. A simple fix would be to add a door sweep or a weather strip. Have you ever wondered why your refrigerator stays cold inside? It's because it's lined with insulation to trap in the cold air. And that's it. Now you know why insulation is so important. Insulation helps control temperature and saves energy. Thanks for joining us on this science lesson. We'll see you on the next video.